waiting for answers, don't you? That subtle curiosity of yours can never escape from my sight. Like ants crawling on your skin brought nothing but the uncomfortable feeling of unanswered questions. Ah, <sighs> well then, shall your questions be answered? Right now, it's a rare case where four of your abilities are actually useful. We don't talk about his passive here. And serve more than just needed for synergy or something else, as each part of his kit possesses very good levels of power. Shall we dive in right now? He dashes with exceptional speed. With each cast, he pushes further, lowering the energy needed for each dash. He learns to preserve his limited energy while making those spend worth as much as possible. His enemies could never run away from him ever again. A charge that can be only done by a rhino. Rhino charge might seem useless without ironclad charge is actually crucial to rhino's mobility. With a technique I call bullet jump cancel, you can dash further than expected with a very high set speed of 48 meters per second. It provides Rhino the mobility he needs to speedrun missions. Do, do not, not look down on the value it provides. With some bit of care, range or casting speed or both, you can turn this ability into some of the greatest speedrunning ability with its unnaturally high speed and the technique I mentioned. And it is also a very low investment ability as you only need a bit of range, casting speed, or both for this. In cases where speed will be cut down, which is solo character mod farming, this motherfucker does not care at all. Not only he is capable of carrying 4 keys with ease, he doesn't even suffer from lower speed due to the nature of this ability, which makes him an extremely good choice even in situations like this occurs. Bullets bouncing away from your flesh, all but barely a scratch to you. You approach them with a steady pace, delivering a judgement they deserve. As the last one desperately tries, it was nothing but futile. They can become stronger, but the stronger they get, the more resistant you are having their gradually increased power being used against them till the end of infinity. Iron Skin, despite it looks like his signature ability, is actually his second weakest ability. Why? Even though it is an exceptional ability on its own, the only self-scaling tank ability in game that works just as good when modless, but in terms of value you can provide for the game mode themselves, it just don't feel needed, but good for it being a safe button. But this doesn't mean it is bad at all. Iron Skin simply scales with enemy damage, which means that it requires absolutely zero mods to function just as good as an in-game setup, even at the highest level possible. There is just not much explanation needed from me. Your skin can be also replenished easily by one of his ability, which allows Rhino to take literally no damage for an extremely long period of time that works in all kinds of levels. Taking no damage for over 20 minutes with just enemy damage, when properly maintained, is quite common. And his another ability, Raw, doesn't even need introduction at all. You already knew some of it, surface level or deep into it. But there is so much more than just what many knew. 
you can skim through my whole channel and see it yourself as I definitely don't want to turn this into a thousand word essay plus we are just talking about his base kit that monstrosity part of his shall be left for another day Raw is capable to be put into everyone's kit via Helmin but with 40% effectiveness cut 50% base raw vs 30% subsume raw Rhino can make it go past 150% with ease without sacrificing any of his stats when mimaxing while others might need to mod significantly more or even just all in into strength to even reach what Rhino have at around 180 to 240 strength Oh, could you ever imagine? It feels like everything doesn't move at all. Could be him, could be you, could be her, or them. The only thing they heard is a loud stomping sound before they cease to be conscious. And here we are. Rhino Storm. Oh, how do I even begin? How is this even legal at all? Almost every CC has certain limitations to their capabilities, which are line of sight requirements, low base range, cannot affect certain enemies such as acolytes, demolists, or excimers, chart bosses, mini bosses, as many CC falls into one of them or more. Some of them do not skip obstacles, have enemy count, limit, and the CC is a soft CC of low duration, not a hard CC. Some need build up, some have travel time, some need a dedicated slot for their augment to bypass certain limitations, notably they cannot affect certain enemy part. Heavy investment or requires medium or high amounts of investment to work properly. The problem is, Rhino Storm, unlike 99.9% .9 of the CC abilities, it bypasses every single check, limitations, build up, and still lasts 8 seconds plus the undocumented 2 second plus knockdown CC while having the second highest max range in game with a 70 meter Max range when 280% power range behind Molecular Prime when max build up. It requires no augment to bypass the limitation stated. If there's any lol. The lowest investment needed for a CC by needing at max 1 range mod or practically 0 investment. The only thing that it doesn't affect are Profit Taker, Eidolon, Archons, the Fragmented One and the Arby Drone units. This ability is also the one that replenishes your skin with an augment. The power this ability holds should not even exist. This ability alone is already providing insane values even before the augment itself. Now with this augment added in, it is Rhino's strongest ability, providing a CC power that is beyond broken that only rival by Limbo's Brief Magic Survivability that even the likes of Revenant cannot provide you. Yes, now you press more buttons, but for that levels of survivability, it is worth, trust me. And you thought we are done? No, 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 no. Rhino is also one of the lowest investment frame. You can go with this absolutely meta build of Rhino. Drum roll, please. The footage you all see right now in the background it is all with this build oh you don't even have this mod build too expensive still this must to be asking much for fuck's sake how about modless i swear to god some of you will say this build expensive when it is fuck modless at this point i will literally have a very friendly chat with you if you say but 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 build too expensive my f guy, this is modless. There is no way I can go lower than this. So, you want an extremely cheap build? This is the cheapest you can go that still holds very well in steel path. And so, this comes to an end. Now you know why 
final space kit is exceptional. That's all. See y'all next time. Goodbye.